Hello everybody, it's time for another literary lecture. I wanted to talk to you today about two words, denotation and connotation. So denotation and connotation, now these, I feel, are very important words if you want to study poetry, but they are useful words for for any type of literary analysis, so whether you're looking at your own essays or creative writing, fiction, screenplays, whatever, denotation and connotation. Here's what they mean. Denotation. Let's define denotation as the literal meaning of a word. Think of it as the dictionary definition of a word. So the denotation is what the word means in the dictionary sense of the word. In contrast, connotation. Let's define connotation as the implied meaning of a word. So that means that there is this emotional context or a subtext, an underlying meaning to different words. One way you can think of this is uh, if somebody said, hey, uh, there's a group of people outside to see you, you might be curious and you'd know that the word group, the denotation of that word, is that there's, you know, there's several people, more than one people, there's a group of people out there. Uh, and that's kind of a neutral word in terms of connotation. Group doesn't mean anything positive or negative. If I said, hey, there's a mob of people out there to see you, the denotation of the word mob is the same as group. So group, crowd, mob, each one of those words has a different connotation, a different emotional impact. I would much rather go out and talk to a group of people or a crowd of people rather than a mob of people. The word mob, to most people, has an angry connotation. We might think of mob like mobsters, mafia. We might think of large groups of people carrying torches. Uh, pitchforks, and we very often attach the, the adjective angry to the word mob. But it might be a happy mob out there waiting to see you. Here's my other favorite example to talk about connotation and denotation. Let's imagine the scene from Empire Strikes Back in which Luke finds out the truth about Darth Vader. Darth Vader says, I am your father. The denotation of that word means that, you know, the father is the male parent of a child. And there are many other words that have that same denotation, that same definition of a male parent of a child. But The Empire Strikes Back would be very different if the line went something like this. Luke, I am your papa. I am your dad. I am your patriarchal figure. I am your daddy. So each one of those, even though the denotation might be the same as the word father, the connotation, right, the implied meaning is different. Papa is very familiar, very friendly. Dad is very casual. Daddy now has very different connotations today than it, than it did in the past. And patriarchal figure is too academic and formal. So the word father has the right level of authority or the right level of connotation to make that, that moment in that Star Wars movie very dramatic. That's my overview of denotation and connotation. If you like this video, subscribe. If you are one of my students, you don't have to subscribe because I'm going to make you keep watching these videos. Talk to you soon. Bye.